Talk Show. I'm your host Annie. I'm Eva. Today we're going to talk about a very very popular topic. What's that? Wait wait wait. Answer me the question first. Come on. Well, are you a high media multitasker? Of course I am. That means I grow up in this generation. But why do you want to ask me the question? Because we're going to talk about generation M square. Whoa, 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 whoa! What? What does M square mean? Well, that means media multitasking. We'll talk about it later. Sure, I can't wait to know more about it. Great. How about let's look at the motivation of the project first. Of course, in our generation, media multitasking is essential and it takes a big part in teenagers' daily lives. But adults can't really understand. Teenagers need. Yeah. So we expect that our project can help teenagers bridge the gap between the two generations about the perception of media multitasking. So today we invite the daughter and her mother to join our talk. Let's welcome Angela Sunny. Hello. Hello. Hi. It seems that you have different opinions about media multitasking. Yeah. She always disagrees with my opinion. Come on, that is you. Never understand me. Stop arguing. Angel, can you tell us the definition of media multitasking? Well, media multitasking is engaged in more than two actions at the same time, including using TV, the web, radio, telephone, print, or any other non-media in conjunction with another. Mm -hmm. All right. What are we going to discuss today? Great. Let's take a look at our research question. First, what are the similarities and differences between teenagers and adults' perception of media multitasking? Second, why do teenagers need media multitasking in their daily lives? Third, what influences does media multitasking have on teenagers' lives? Wow, I'm really curious about these research questions. Yeah, it must be an interesting project. Let's start it. Okay, as you can see, the subjects are 298 teenagers and 10 parents aged from 40 to 50. We designed two questionnaires, one for the teenagers and the other for their parents. Besides that, we also invited 10 teenagers and 10 teachers to collect more detailed information. Let us show you the result from our questionnaire. Alright, in responses to research question 1, 83% teenagers think they are high media multitaskers. And 75% adults agree that their children are high media multitaskers. When it comes to whether they agree to use media multitasking while working, 97% teenagers disagree, but 60% adults don't. In addition, 89% teenagers think media multitasking is helpful. See, Mom? But 64% adults don't think so. That's right. Mm -hmm. We can know more about teenagers thinking from item 6. Of course. 83% teenagers think media multitasking can increase their motivation while studying. Whatever. 42% adults disagree with teenagers. Whoa, don't be so angry, okay? How about let's look at more opinion from our interview. Okay, let's see their responses to work efficiency. Teenagers think media multitasking can help to improve study motivation, to better concentrate on study with music. But media multitasking will make you guys distracted from work at times. Mom, you see, students she said, listening to music while studying is like someone is accompanying me. Therefore, my motivation is increased. And teacher then said, I have to do a lot of things at the same time, so media multitasking can increase my work efficiency. Besides, I can switch smoothly between different media products. However, as parents, we disagree that teenagers use media products while studying. Sometimes, we even have some conflict, just like us. You know what? Adults consider media multitasking will decline in work efficiency, less attention to study, and discreet interaction between parents and children. Okay, if we can make good use of media multitasking, adults might realize our need and understand our existence. After 
Number O, media multitasking is an unstoppable trend which arises from multitask teenagers are forced to do under pressure from school and family. Yeah, media multitasking is not always a bad thing. Some teenagers doing homework while listening to music and juggling tweets and texts may actually work better that way. Well, though media multitasking is a part of teenagers' life, you guys should make good use of it. You're, You're right. right! Thanks for your great help and advice. We're it's our pleasure. We are glad to help you. These are our references. This is our project. Thank you.